dump it in the left wing corner. Ripplinger, top of the circle for Nash. He'll go after it on the wall. He gets met there by Spencer Hora. Blanchard can't clear. Leahy keeps it in. Across right side to Meek. These are changing. Midpoint, Leahy. Wrist shot. Tipped on. They score! Jared Nash! Great redirect by Nash on the blocker side. 7.05 into the second period. The V's have their opener. It's 1-0. What a great shot by number two in white, Joe Leahy, as he, the left-handed shooter, receives a pass from across the blue line and puts a hard shot about waist high left of the net, and Jared Nash on the backhand redirects it back towards the goaltender and under the right arm of Tallarico, the goaltender. And a great shift by the defenseman and Joe Leahy to keep that puck in and then get a shot on net, which is tipped by Jared Nash. And the V's lead 1-0. Nash's third goal this season, his 13th point from Leahy and Meek. Meek fed Leahy, Leahy center point as you mentioned. Threw it from the high slot to the goal and on that blocker side, knocking it down and Fuller at the offensive blue line though. Salmon Arm tried to slide it up the wall, Clack cuts it off, back to the point. Meek has room, steps into it, that's blocked by Hora in front. Comes to Clack, back door, Jones scores! <laughs> Jones from just off the goal line on left wing, buries it on that backdoor pass from Clack. Great persistence for the V's, turning a turnover into a goal. 7.29 to go, it's 2-0 Penticton. Great work by the V's down low, keeping the puck in the salmon arm zone and working it down. Three on three, a little drop pass, Turcotte right circle. Nice block by Bryden going to a knee and laying down the circle to block that shot. Clack kicked it out to the blue line, lost his glove, but still battles there at center ice with the salmon arm player. And now at the bench, they're still tied up. It's Turcotte and Clack. Turcotte trying to, I think, drop the gloves here with Clack, trying to rip off the helmet. They get separated quickly by the Lions, and it might be coincidentals here with 5.22 to go as Clack did lose the bucket. We'll see what they say the penalties are here, but some maybe frustration boiling over there for Jared Turcotte. Chris Clock did a good job, just kind of frustrating him in front of the net. Turcott held on to the collar of Clock, and Clock kind of just laughed in his face, and then Turcott starting to throw some punches while Chris Clock still laughing in his face. So I guess the things you get to do when you're up 2 <laughs> nothing and have won four straight is the V's are all over Salmon Arm in this third period here, and Turcott is nothing short of frustrated. Absolutely in their own end. And basically, their side is centered down. They've been hard to play against tonight. They haven't given Seminar much when it comes to chances off the rush. Back in left side, Bariga scores! Oh my, look out, 5-12 to go. An innocent shot from the left wing wall by Bariga as he tracked down the puck. Off the glove and in on the far side of Robson. And now we have ourselves a game, it's 2-1. to one. Well, and you said it, innocent shot is what it seemed. And Robson did get a piece of that with his glove and it went through the glove or ticked off the glove and into the top shelf corner and straight out into the crease. So a innocent shot from Bariga coming down that left wing as Robson maybe just a little too relaxed to go grab it as it snuck past the glove side and in and no secret is that he'll want that one back and look for Robson to try to Benjamin shut down. Stevenson through the middle for Connor Sundquist at center ice on left wing for Connor Cochran. He gets knocked on the wall, throws it to the front on the back end. Rebound, they score! Justin Wilson in front, turns and roofs it over the glove side of Robson. And just like that, with 3.14 to go, Salmon Armour has quickly erased a 2-0 deficit. It's 2-2. Two two. Well, I guess Salmon Arm owed it to the Bees. The Bees came back the last time these two teams met at the SOEC and tied it late. Salmon Arm, of course, winning in double overtime there, but Joe Leahy just not able to pick up the stick of, was it Wilson in front? Fraser, yeah, Wilson with the goal and right-handed shooter just picked the puck up between the feet of Joe Leahy and put a shot at the exact same spot that beat Robson before up over the glove side. So we have ourselves a, a tied hockey game here with just over three minutes left and the V's a little stunned as two quick ones, one ugly and one just good hard work by the V's who made that save and kept this one Scores! Ward off the draw! Bottom right circle! Merry Christmas to all and all a good night. Ward right off the draw through the legs of Tallarico from the bottom of the right circle. 
And the Vs do it again in overtime. They win it three to two. What a job there walking off the half boards and Tallarico, all, after all the saves he's made tonight, is gonna want that one back as it went along the ice between the legs as he hugged the post and I didn't think there was any room in the five hole for that puck to slide, but as we now know there was and Penticton picks up its eighth win in overtime with still only the one loss in the extra frame. They'll come away with two points here tonight.